Physics number 72, and it's a physics application problem. A fuel oil tank is an upright cylinder buried to a circular top is 10 feet beneath ground level. The tank has a radius of 5 feet and is 15 feet high. Although the current oil level is only 6 feet deep, calculate the work required to pump all the oil to the surface. Oil weighs 50 pounds per feet cubed. So we know that the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared times h. And this cylinder, we want to cut it into little slices. So each slice has a volume of pi times 5 squared times delta y. And then we want to find the distance in terms of y. So the oil at a high h must be lifted 25 minus h. And it's 25 because it's 10 feet plus 15 feet. So it's 25, which is the total. And then y. So 25 minus y is the distance. And our work is force times the distance. So we can get an integral, which work is equal to integral between 0 to 6. And then we have 50, because the oil weighs 50. And then times the volume, pi times 5 squared. And then times the distance, 25 minus y. And if we multiply 50 times 25 times pi, we get 1,250 pi. And then the integral between 0 to 6, 25 minus y dy. And then if we take the antiderivative of 25 minus y, we get 25y minus y squared over 2 times 1,250 pi. And then we are trying to find between zero, 6 to 0. So we plug in 6 and we plug in 0. So we plug in 6, we get 150 minus 18 times 1,250 pi. And then when we plug in 0, it's just 0. So it's just this answer. So 1,250 pi times 150 minus 18 gives us 518,363 feet per pound of work required to pump all the oil to the surface.